it started with me being uh, broke. Um, my wife and I had moved to uh, uh, Quartz, Hill, Calif Quartz Hill, California, up in the Antelope Valley area. Uh, the agent I had dropped me, he says, because he had so many character actors and that he had to get rid of some of us, so he dropped me. Um, so I never really knew if that was the reason or was it the reason why that uh, Victoria Thomas called me and needed an actor for the grifter. And she couldn't play me, pay me my rate, all she could pay me was scale. And I agreed to do it anyway. And he had told me, you never do anything without first contacting them and letting them know because mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to do scale. You know, I, I had a rate. So, but either way, uh, I didn't work for a while. My money was getting funny. Uh, so I started delivering newspapers in Antelope Valley. I worked about a week and they did a story on me as being a cult hero and repo man and so forth. And so the, the guy told me, he says, you don't need this paper, Rob, because you're a movie star. And he fired me. Mm -hmm. So now I'm walking mm -hmm. down the street in, in Lancaster and I'm walking between cars because uh, old timer told me, he says that people get out of their cars and they drop money and they don't take time to pick it up because they got to go. So I'm looking, mm -hmm. hopefully I'll find some money as I walk between the cars. And this kid came up to me and he says, aren't you that dude in Repo Man? I said, yes, I am. He said, well, you know, they're looking for a director at Anlo Valley College uh, to shoot their first black film, black uh, theater project. And uh, I said, thank you. So I went down there and I applied for it and I got the job. And that was my first directing job. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Potter. Cause I'm not Julia's son like I was before. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Potter.